Number 52. Draw the orbital diagram for the valence shell of each of the following atoms. Then we have A through E. Okay, so stop this video right now or pause the video if you have not drawn your periodic table like I have mine here, right? I have yellow, blue, and green. Shade those regions in. This region is always where your S orbitals lie. This region is where your P orbitals will lie. And then this region is where your D orbitals are. And these two down here are where your Fs are. And if you've guys done um, questions before this, we've been over the progression, right? S starts with one, so this is one S and two S, et cetera, et cetera. P starts with two, so two P and three P. D starts with three, so three D and four D. And F starts with four, so four F and five F. Okay, so two things here. Orbital diagram are boxes, so we're gonna be drawing a lot of boxes, <laughs> fun stuff, but we should know what the valence shell means. A valence shell is the outermost, oop, outermost, outermost shell. So basically it's going to be the highest end number, and remember, the N number is the big number in the front. Now, it's chemistry, so you know that there's going to be exceptions. And hopefully they put some exceptions here, um, just so that we could see them. All right, so for A. Now, the easiest way to do this is you should first get your electron configuration. Now, if you haven't done any electron configuration questions up until this point, Definitely now stop the video and go back and do the electron configuration questions. I go much more in depth into that if you need the help. But if you have done that already, voila, we are here. So I'm going to be doing the shorthand version for the electron configurations. And the shorthand version always bases everything off of the noble gases, which is in group 18 or 8A depending on, you know, what you want to say. So it's these elements down here. So for example, carbon, you always say the noble gas before the element that you're talking about. So it's always the noble gas before the atomic number of the element that you want. So technically, um, carbon is six. Now here, remember, hydrogen is excluded. Hydrogen's over here for electron configuration. So technically, there's really no noble gas really before it. You can say, um, sorry, you can say helium, and I meant helium is over here. If I said hydrogen, I apologize. So you can say helium, but it. let's just go from the top because it's just that simple. Carbon's really not that far away. So this one would be 1s2, 2s2, and then 2p2 right? One, two. Your orbital diagrams are going to come from the highest n number. So here they are. It's the twos. I have a 2s and a 2p. Now just know that the s's, you'll always draw one box. This goes back to the ms, right? Actually, no. This goes back to the ml values of how many different orbitals, how many different orientations there are. Remember, there's only one orbital for S, so hence one box. For P, there's three orbitals, so that's why whenever we have a P, we have to draw three boxes. If there's a D, there's five boxes. So for right now, we have carbon. The valence shell is the twos, because that's the highest number, and I have an S and a P. So I will say for carbon, actually, let me put carbon up here just so that I have the most room. So I'm going to have a box saying 2s, and then I'm gonna have three boxes for 2p. Now let's fill in the electrons. There were two electrons for the s, so according to the spins, one has to go up, and then the other one has to go down. Now, for 2p, there was only two electrons here. So you play it like kids on the school bus, right? Kids on the school bus do not want to sit next to each other unless they're forced. 
So if this electron comes and sits right here in this box, where do you think the other electron's gonna go? It's not gonna go here, right? Because there's two other empty spaces. So the other electron's going to be there. And that's the orbital diagram for carbon. That's all it is. Let's try phosphorus. So first let's get the shorthand version, electron configuration, and then we could see uh, what the outer shells are. So phosphorus is here. Now there's a direct uh, noble gas that's before it, and it is neon, right? So when you say neon in brackets, you're saying that I have the same electron configuration up until neon, up until number 10. Now you just continue on. You continue on to number 11, and you reach your destination of phosphorus. So the next would be 3s2 and then 3p3. And I don't know why this is a d here. This should be a p, right? 2p and this is 3p. And there you go. Those are your outer shells. Three and three. There's two electrons in the 3s and there's three electrons in the 3p. So let's draw it. So B. Phosphorus. We got a S. S only has one box. And there's two electrons. So one, two. And I'll say 2s. Actually, I'll say 3s. And then the P. You have to draw the three boxes and state that it's 3p. And now there's three electrons. So kids on the school bus, one, two, three, and that's done for phosphorus. Let's keep going. Vanadium. Vanadium's over here. We picked the noble gas that's preceding it, which is argon, number 18. So by saying this, we have the entire electron configuration up until argon, and then we continue with number 19. So that would be 4s2, but then 3d3. Now this is one of your exceptions. There's a 4 here and a 3. And the exception is, if you end off with a transition, or actually I won't even say transition, if you end off with a d orbital, and here is the thing, if you end off with a d orbital that, orbital that is not filled, means that it doesn't have the full 10, then you will include it. But if you end off with the d orbital that is full, a d10, you do not include it. So in this case, when I say C for vanadium, I have to draw 4s, so that's one box. 4s, and there's two electrons there, so one, two, and then here comes my D. It's a 3D, and Ds have five boxes, so I gotta draw five boxes. And now only three of them have electrons. So, kids on the school bus, one, two, three, and that's it. D, SB. SB is, I believe, right here. So what's the noble gas before SB? It's krypton, number 36. So I can say Kr and then finish it out from 37 beyond. So that would be 5s2, 4d10, and then 5p123. Now look at this. There's a 5 and a 5 and a 4, but what did we just say? You only include the d orbital if it's not filled. But this is a D10, so you do not include this one because it's completely filled. So you will only write your valence shell for the 5S and the 5P. So if I say D down here for SB, we have a one box for 5S, and it's filled, so one, two. And then you have a P, so three boxes. That's a 5P. And then three electrons, one, two, three, and that's done. Last but not least, we have RU. So let's see, where is RU? I believe I saw it, it's right over here. So noble gas before it is same exact thing, it's krypton, right, number 36. So this is KR, and then follow. It's 5s2, and then 4d3. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. So 46. And then we have that exception again. It's a five and a four, but is the D completely filled? No. So we include the D because it's not completely filled. So for this one, I'm just going to put it over here. We have 5S, so one box, 5S, and that's filled, one, two. And then we have a 4D, which has five boxes, so you got to draw them. And now that one only has six electrons. So one, two, three, four, five. Now the electron's like, oh, where am I going to sit? I guess I have to sit with another electron. So now you go back to the first and fill it in. And that's it. That's how you do the orbital diagrams for val valence shells. So get practice with doing the shorthand version electron configuration because then that will always help you get the orbital diagram. All right? Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. If it did, click the like button. And if you want to help the channel, click the subscribe button. That would greatly help us. And I thank you so, 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 so much. We're almost at 100 subs. It's absolutely crazy. I would never even believe that we would get here. Um, but we did with your, your guys' help. So thank you so much for that. I'll see you guys all in the next question. Bye-bye.